Love in America is brought to you by Gold and Diamond Source. Gems with M helps showcase December's four accepted birthstones. Zircon, Tanzanite, Turquoise, and Blue Topaz, which is also the fourth anniversary stone. Birthstones and colored gemstones make wonderful gifts for anyone on your list. Only, Only at, at the, the Golden Gold Diamond, Diamond Source. True love stories never have endings. He, he had me. But they all have a beginning. The day that I met her, I knew that she could be. Passionate couples share their adventures in finding true love. That was the mission. Here on Love in America with Serena Fazan. Hi everyone, I am Serena Fazan and welcome to Love in America, a show exploring those beautiful love stories and long lasting love. Joining me in the studio today, a couple certainly who can share that. Carrie and former mayor Rick Kreisman, thank you so much for joining us for this episode of Love in America. Thank you. We're happy to be here. Such familiar faces. Former mayor of St. Petersburg, Rick Kreisman, again. Um, 30 years married, right? Almost. Almost. Yes. Almost. In the month of November. And right. you wrote a book, I did. Carrie Kreisman, <laughs> Accidental First Lady. Okay, so let's, so let's get started. How did you guys meet? <laughs> we, um, <laughs> we met in a bar. At a no, bar. it's not the uh, opening punchline for a joke, but we did. We uh, more like we recognized each other yes. in a bar. And um, I guess I'll start, and you can you jump know, in. Um, okay. During college, mm -hmm. I worked two jobs. One of them was at a bank, and um, Rick used to come in every Friday uh, to the drive-in mm -hmm. and uh, deposit his check. And so I could see him from a distance, but I couldn't see if there was a ring on the finger. Oh, so. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so um, so I just kind of, you know, left it up to that. Didn't really think much, you know. Come so. on, Carrie. <laughs> no, 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 no. We All are right. going to talk about what you said before the show. Truth be told. Truth be told. Come okay. on. Come I, on. And what I did, did do? I, well, I did say that he knows when I'm lying. So I, I'm not lying when I say I looked up his account, only to see if there was a woman on the account. And there was not. Yeah. So... You know, every Friday came and went for a couple months or whatever, and I had another job in college working at the St. Petersburg Times. And so sometimes on the Saturday nights after deadlines, uh, some of us copy clerks and the sports guys would go out for a drink afterward. And somebody suggested, why don't we go to Beach Nuts this weekend or this Saturday night? And so we did. Which is a bar, right? In it St. Was. Or Treasure Island. Is Treasure Island. Okay. It used to be. It's probably now a condo or something. Yeah. But yes, yeah. it was up on <laughs> still typical <laughs> beach bar. Yeah. And so my friend Jen and I finished before the sports guys and we headed out to Beach Nuts and we're just hanging out waiting. And, um, you know, I see this guy looking at me from about 30 feet away. And so toss it to you. <laughs> yeah, so I, I, and I didn't want to go out that night because I wasn't feeling well. Mm -hmm. But a friend of mine said, oh, come on, let's just go. I really hadn't been to this beach bar before. And so I thought, all right, I'll go. And it was probably around 1130 maybe or so. It was, yeah, a little yeah. later. Even. It was later yeah. towards the end of for at least. And I'm like, look, I'm, I'm not feeling well. I, I, let, let's, let's just go. And then. Uh, then you spotted her. And then I spotted her. <laughs> And I said to my buddy, I said, what do you think of those two over there? <laughs> so he's like, well, let's go over. I said, I think I know one of them. Wait, okay, so hold up for one. Did you know her from the bank? I, I recognized her uh -huh. from the bank. And, and, you know, she tells how she looked up my account. I jokingly I always say now, I clearly know she didn't marry me for my money because if she saw my account, she knew I didn't have any. <laughs> okay, so let me ask. I, and I, I just have to, right? This is love in America. But when you when you said to your buddy, look at those two over there, were you thinking at this point, mm, long term or, hey, where can the night take us? You I'm know, supposed to be asking these questions. You know, I'm supposed to be more raw. <laughs> I'm, I'm blushing as I'm asking on the record. I'm I mean, blushing. Uh, uh, truthfully, it was just uh, really, uh, we were ready to go or, and I was ready to go. And then I, when I spotted her, I was like, I think I know her. Let's. Let's go over and, and see. And that's when I said, excuse me, but do you work at Sunbank? <laughs> and your answer was. I said, Mr. Kreisman? <laughs> and which is because at our job, we were required to call every customer by name. And I was 22. He was 28. So when I was younger 20s to older 20s, it's six years is a bigger difference. So I erred on the side of more formality mm -hmm. by calling him Mr. Kreisman. <laughs> That's Richard, as he signed his checks, but I don't think I've ever called him Richard in my life. No. But, Not so, even when you get mad or anything? No, no. 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 
So, um, yeah, I know I'm in trouble if I hear Richard no. Neighbor. <laughs> <laughs> so, when, so that was it, you know, so it was Mr. Christman. We chatted for a little bit, and, yeah. you know. And then did you get his number? Did you get, like, what happened from there? Well, I mean, she's working two jobs. I was uh, a lawyer at that time, um, had already finished law school and started working. So I said, look, I know you're a lot busier than I am. And so I gave you, I think I gave you my number and said, why and don't you call hard. me and let me know when you're available because I'd like to go mm -hmm. out. Look good looking and smart, right? right? You're thinking, you're like, whoa, <laughs> okay, a lawyer too. All right, so <laughs> what did you do? Did you call um, him right away or did you no, try to play it cool? And play it was it? Saturday night. <laughs> I, I played it cool and waited till Wednesday to call him. So, oh, and then I left it, I called him and this oh, was in God. the age of answering machines. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about that. So, <laughs> so, See, he says he doesn't use his uh, broadcasting uh -huh. degree, but he's <laughs> clearly talented because when I called, I get this, um, this, this, uh, you know, I'm Robin Leach, I'm Richard <laughs> Kreisman. I can't even do the accents, oh, but clearly you could because it was champagne wishes and caviar dreams. <laughs> and I hung up the phone. And you I did? Was like, yeah, I was oh. like, I used to make my what own is this? Messages. And I looked at the number. I'm like, okay, I dialed the right number. So I cautiously call back, and I said who I was and so forth, my contact info, and he called me back. But yes, he did. He used to um, make up his own answering machine messages. They were themed. There was Mr. Ed, Ronald Reagan, um, Saul Bernstein, the old Jewish mm. man, which he can do that because he's Jewish. Jewish. <laughs> so. And we're going to talk about interfaith marriages too right. a little bit later. But Wow. So we, we somehow connected after that <laughs> answering machine debacle and, and did go out for a first date. Okay, but this is really romantic. Okay, uh, so right. you so you were going on a ski trip, yes. right? You wanted to connect. I wanted to go out mm -hmm. before mm -hmm. I went on the ski trip. Okay. So, uh, uh -huh. I, you know, I just said, well, you pick the, the movie and and dinner and mm -hmm. and she did she picked a very romantic movie yes which which movie would that be <laughs> well Price, you know i have to couch this with <laughs> why i picked it number one i'd already seen the movie so why would i be seeing it again and so frequently you know or in such a short amount of time but i'm flipping through the paper and there's the pickings were slim mm -hmm. you know i was like what you know they needed to replenish the movies with new ones so I hastily suggested, uh, how about we go see Silence of the Lambs? Silence of the Lambs! <laughs> how romantic is that? Yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> really you know, and then it was a Wednesday was night. Yeah, you know, this was not an Instagrammable moment. <laughs> Let me tell you, if Instagram had been around, you know, I don't know that we would have been posing for any pictures about no. that. And, so we went to Chili's and then went over to the mall and saw the movie. Okay, and so married 30 years, or almost 30 years mm -hmm. in the month of November, but... Did you know? They say, they say that guys know. Oh, How soon did you know? That night. That night? <laughs> yeah. I mean, when I I dropped her off, and, and I really, I, I kind of went home, and I would, was very excited, because I'm like, this is it. <laughs> She's the one. Really? Like, I, I mean, is it is it a little voice in your head, or what is it? I, I, you know, I'm not <laughs> sure what it was. I mean, it, there was just this connection that was really strong that I felt. Um, first off, mm -hmm. she's incredibly beautiful. Oh, um, and look, isn't <laughs> that so? Well, you know, you guys, seriously, when you, right from the minute that you walked in, I mean, your eyes light up, you finish each other's sentences, it's just so adorable. <laughs> and, and it's like, it, that was instantaneous. And I had... I had been in a relationship before I, I met Carrie for like three years with someone and, and it really felt like when that one ended, I knew what I wanted. I knew what I was looking for. It was real clear. I mean, I was, what, 20, 28? 28, 28 when we met. That's right. Yeah. And, you know, so I really was hoping to meet somebody at some point, although I wasn't really expecting because it, it, it wasn't that long. It was only a couple months after I mm -hmm. ended that other relationship and, but it was just, I just knew. And, it was just immediate. You know, and from that point on, I mean, the conversations we had almost every day we talked, and oh, for yeah. hours, yeah. every wow. time. When you used to talk on the phone. Wow. Yeah, yeah. that's right. I mean, Thank yeah. God it wasn't wow. texting. I probably yeah. have a couple <laughs> thumbs have both thumbs. Numb thumbs. Yeah. <laughs> so best friends on top of it, Yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Well, that's that's it. I mean, if you can, if you're fortunate enough in life to marry your best friend, then we had fun together. Mm -hmm. We still do. Yeah. Oh. yeah. And so, Carrie, how soon did you know? Did you know that night too, or did it take you a bit? <laughs> I think it, it was more of an evolution. It wasn't mm -hmm. that I ever needed to be convinced or convince myself, but mm -hmm. you know, it was more of just like Rick said, we started spending more time together, and 
we were inseparable. And I remember it was, I think all, a lot of couples go through this period of their courting. There's like wedding season of all your friends. Oh, you know, yes. a lot of your friends are getting married around the same time. And, you know, his friends were older than my friends, but still it, we had both sides of friends getting married. And so it started that, when are you two getting married? When are you two? And I think it was around six months into our dating, we started talking about marriage. Yeah. So we got engaged about a, almost a year after we started dating. dating. And then how soon did you get married after you got engaged? About um, a year? No, we got engaged February of 92 and got married November of 92. Yeah. So it was a quick yeah. nine months. But we didn't want to, I mean, one of the things that was really important to us, um, because I'm <laughs> Jewish and Carrie's Catholic, mm -hmm. is we didn't want to get engaged even until we yeah. made some decisions on all right, if we're going to get married, because we were already talking about kids, so we knew we wanted to, mm -hmm. but what are we going to do with our kids? How are we going to raise them? Because I knew people that had gotten into interfaith marriages, and they hadn't figured that out beforehand, and then they tried to figure it out after the kids were born, and it didn't work. Mm -hmm. That is, on that note, mm -hmm. for, seg for our next segment... Yeah. Let's talk about interfaith marriages. Okay. Guys, are you in love with the crisis? <laughs> yes, we are. Stay with us for more. <laughs> Thinking about getting engaged, planning to upgrade your wedding ring, or finally getting that Rolex? The Golden Diamond Source can help you in many ways. You can start a layaway plan for only 10% down and six monthly payments. Take advantage of our three to five year interest free financing. Or you can trade in your old broken jewelry and use it towards a new purchase. Come to the Golden Diamond Source and find that perfect gift for the ones that you love. You give only a Golden Diamond Source. Hi everyone, I'm Serena Fizan. You are watching Love in America and we are here with former St. Petersburg um, Mayor Rick Kreisman and his beautiful wife Carrie, married for 30 years in November and also the author of Accidental First Lady. All right, so let's talk about the interfaith marriage. You were Jewish, yep. right Mayor? Mm -hmm. And are you, you're Catholic. Christian Catholic. Mm -hmm. Okay, so before you got engaged or before you got married, you started talking about religion? Mm -hmm. We did. Uh, I mean, I think w what we didn't want to have happen is um, have children and then try and figure out, do we raise them Jewish? Do we raise them Catholic? What do we do? Do we, I mean, there are some people just let the kids decide. We didn't want to do that. We, we wanted to at least raise them in some sort of religious mm -hmm. background. And, and then if they, you know, and expose them to both, and then if they let them choose at that point in time as they became adults. Um, so we, we um, read about each other's religions. Mm -hmm. uh, I went yeah. and met with wow. a priest. Wow, met with a rabbi. rabbi and yeah. we asked questions. Everybody that just shows, books. wow, well that shows just how much the two of you truly, truly love each other, right? <laughs> and you said that you're best friends as well. Mm -hmm. So you committed yourself to learning about each other's religions. Mm -hmm. Then what happened? We just... Like Rick said, we went to, and we, when we met, when he met with the priest and I met with the rabbi, we were together for those. He didn't go by himself or whatever, so, you know, and so we just had our lists of questions. We obviously, like, thought about it, or there was no deadline per se, and then we just kind of talked about it. Right. And I guess for me, obviously, when it's, there's two of you and you have to pick one, someone has to give, right? Mm -hmm. So, right. And maybe it was the first time it was, we had to compromise, but anyone will tell you, whether it's, you know, five days or five years, mm -hmm. 50 years, you have to compromise in any kind of relationship, friendship, marriage, whatever. So, And um, on numerous topics you have to compromise. Yes. I mean, I know religion so, is, a, is a significant one. Right. Yeah. But did, was there any talk of converting? No. Because, um, you both, because you both love your faith and you wanted to stay with your faith. Yeah, I, I, um, I could not convert, you know, in authentically convert mm -hmm. and it was never asked of me because of what I still believe the root of Catholicism is so I, I mean why would I convert just to say that I'm I'm Jewish now and you know that right. kind of thing. I mean I right. think it's great for those who choose to do it and for those who don't um, and Rick's family never um, asked me to convert that does happen sometimes uh, on both sides they will lot. want the families to convert um, well and interestingly the person I dated before I met Carrie was also Christ, uh, a Catholic, uh -huh. and at that point in time, my parents were like, "She's got to become Jewish if you're going to marry her." <laughs> and so, um, you know, and then when that relationship broke up, 
I made, I said to them, look, if I find the person that I'm in love with and they're not Jewish, I'm not gonna ask them to convert and you're not gonna require them to convert because this is the person I'm in love with, so I don't care. How tough of a conversation was that with your parents? Um, it Maybe it was easier because I had gone through mm -hmm. the first one. Well, and, and the interesting thing. I don't remember it being an issue. No. Really? It, but I mean, but you know, it's, it's, it's fascinating because if you talk to a lot of people who are Jewish, if they marry outside their mm -hmm. faith, they typically marry Catholic. We've got yes, I mean, you know, it is, it is so interesting. Yeah. No, I have so many couples that I know where one person is Jewish and the other person is Catholic. Yeah. So what do you do? So with the kids, you have two beautiful children. Sam, I'm partial to that name because I have a daughter <laughs> named Samantha who goes to a Catholic school. Yeah. And Jordan, yeah. who's a boy, right? No, girl, Jordan's daughter. a girl and yeah. Sam is a boy, yeah. of course. So how did you, what did you do with it? So with the kids, how how are you raising them? Well, we we did decide to raise them Jewish, um, and you know, then moved on from that. You know, and did the rituals and in, in Judaism. There's a baby naming or a, a bris. You know, if it's a boy mm -hmm. and so forth. You know, but for both of us, we still have our families who did not convert. You know, and and we would always, thankfully number one, the families got along mm -hmm. nicely, so there was no issues on either side from that. We had support from both sides. You know, and so that's just. If you've got that, you're already one step ahead of the game. That's a battle, or I wouldn't even say this conversation was a battle, but it was something we had to get over, a hurdle. Right. So, you know, but we didn't have any outside interferences. And so that was easy. And um, so w with the holidays, Rick... That was, my next, that was my well, next question. Right. What about the holidays? Well, he always loved the Christmas tree, and he viewed it as a commercial symbol, so to mm -hmm. speak. He just said, I don't want... Um, I don't want the, the star, the, the star or, or, or an the, angel or an angel. It tree. was more of an angel. An angel. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, on the tree. And I'm like, that's fine. I don't so, care. So, you know, and he our, spent many years peeling maple or sap off of his hands <laughs> when we used to get real trees and under there trying to cut the Remember our first stump. tree, though? It was all, our first tree was all blue and white oh. uh, ornaments because those are uh, the colors of, of Hanukkah. Hanukkah. Yes, of so, course. And our tree topper was Albert the al Alligator. I mean, we were just like, <laughs> You know, we were kids, but you know, we just had, we're having fun with it. It was our first time and you know, we had our families over. And so all these years we've involved both sides of the families, you know, when we can with, with the holidays on both sides, you know, we've had my family and then some for Passover and Rosh Hashanah celebrations mm -hmm. and the same goes for Christmas and Easter. Yeah, um, and I would go to services with Rick at the temple, you know, mm -hmm. and, and he'd go to church with me whenever, you know, that we did that. But regarding the kids, we did raise them um, Jewish in the temple, and they start at, um, is it kindergarten? We should know this. Or third, <laughs> kinder, they do start at kindergarten in uh -huh. religious school. Then it, in third grade, they start Hebrew school in preparation for their bar or bat mitzvahs. So, um, and our kids did all of that yeah. while still going to church and, you know, on, on holidays with us and, mm -hmm. and people, um, you know, would say, well, aren't they going to get confused? I said, they know they're Jewish and they know their mother is Catholic and that the family is and, you know, and when our son would get kind of, you know, kids go through that age, I want, I want, I want, yes. you know, and I, yes. he did it a little more than our daughter. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, look, this is he, uh, what he wants for Christmas. I said, mm. look. You don't get all of this. You only get it because of me. You know, it'd be just kind of a joke. You wouldn't be getting Christmas. You know, so we just so, so they tried. cleaned up. When oh, they, they did. Right. Like I, I was oh yeah. How to get add Christmas? Yeah. Right? Sometimes the holidays overlapped, and you know they learned their traditions, and you know from the both from the Ju Judaism they learned how to make latkes with their grandmother and. Um, you know that it's that kind beautiful. Of thing. It, yeah. And Mayor, what were you going to? I think you were going to say something. Well, about we also. That. We got married by a rabbi oh, yeah. and a priest. Oh, yeah. We had a rabbi and a priest do a joint service together. We were out on the beach. Yeah, on the beach at sunset. Not at Beach Nuts, but, oh, <laughs> but on the beach. Yeah. The beach holds a very special place and for you yeah. both. We incorporated parts of both religious mm -hmm. ceremonies for weddings into our wedding. And it yeah. it actually was, I think, and a lot of people came to us, up to us afterward and said that was just beautiful. Don't you think, though, this, this honestly, speaking of beautiful, so it's a beautiful example in life, yeah. like mm -hmm. just for even communities of people mm -hmm. coming together. I mean, right. you guys are like the walking example. Finding your similarities and respecting your differences. That's, right. that's the thing is, is, and that's what we did. And we've always respected each other's religions and, you know. Well, we always joke that 
J Judaism and Catholicism are, and this is why <laughs> they get along so well, they, they have a lot in common. Uh, family is very important very. in both religions. Mm -hmm. Food <laughs> is very important yeah. in both religions. And both religions are founded on guilt. Oh, <laughs> and look at that, Carrie. Okay, smart, good looking, funny. <laughs> Everything, I got right? Won the lottery. Right? <laughs> there you go. Well, he has too. And yeah. how about when he, again, when he looked at you and he said, and she's still so beautiful. <laughs> oh, you're yes. kind. Oh, oh, I mean, I don't know. seriously, this is love. Do you guys want more? <laughs> yes. More with the Kreismans. We'll have that coming up. <laughs> Gems with them helps showcase December's four accepted birthstones. All with the beautiful blue hue, zircon, tanzanite, turquoise, and blue topaz, which is also the fourth anniversary stone. Come see all of our beautiful gemstones we have at the Golden Dinosaurs. Learn how these fine gems make perfect gifts any time of year for everyone on your list. For more information, visit our website or come see the largest selection of beautiful colored gemstones only at, at the, the Golden, Golden Dinosaurs. Dinosaurs. Hi, I'm Serena Fazan. You are watching Love in America. We are here with Carrie and Rick Kreisman, married 30 years in November. And I just heard, Rick, you just say, we have to talk about the engagement. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, oh, it's oh, not that. Oh, oh. <laughs> what happened? Oh, Another really? non-Instagrammable moment. <laughs> yes, it was. <laughs> no, it's well, we, we had a favorite Italian restaurant, mm -hmm. and uh, it was Valentine's Day, and mm -hmm. I knew I was going to propose to her that day. I already got in the ring, and picked her up and we got to the restaurant and we're having a nice dinner and and I'm very nervous because well, we I'm, haven't ordered yet oh that's we're just right. kind of looking oh, at that's right or whatever mm -hmm. uh, and I realized I forgot the ring <gasps> no oh yeah wait a minute <laughs> wait, 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 wait a minute you're gonna propose and you forgot and this the was ring? like a it wasn't tiny but it was a smaller Italian restaurant yes. and we had reservations but there were people lined up you know, um, not like right at the door, you know, mm -hmm. waiting to be seated. And it was it was crowded. It was Valentine's Day. And so when he left, go ahead. I won't so, no, that's stop. Not, so yeah. I, I said, I, I forgot my wallet. And, I, you know, this, I'm, you're not paying. I'm so let me drive back to my apartment, which was like 15 minutes away. 15 was, minutes yeah, away. Yeah, easily. So, so I left That's her right. there. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sitting there. I know, I'm sitting there. I'm like, Valentine's Day. Like, and people are kind of looking at me. <laughs> Where you stood up? <laughs> oh, I know. Like, no, they didn't yeah. mean you, you were about these people. Yeah. Did you know he was going to propose? No, no, I had no idea. Really? No, I really did. So I did go get, the, I, I got the ring and I came back and, and I did get on my knee and, oh. and proposed to her there in the restaurant. Yeah. But then, after dinner, we were so excited, we wanted to go to her mom's house to show her the ring. Yeah. And we get out of the car, and we're walking up the sidewalk, and I'm so excited, I knock her down. No, you did not. I, I, okay, this story just gets better and better. <laughs> you, okay, literally knock her down. <laughs> yes. Were you yeah. hurt? Just, just a little skin knee. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> nothing, nothing I didn't experience in childhood. <laughs> Um, okay, thank goodness you are talking about the engagement because yeah. that has to be a, a, one of the greatest one. It's one of the greatest and funniest stories. <laughs> well, it certainly is memorable. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So, speaking of memorable, though, I don't know if that's you know English is my fifth language, so I get confused with the words. <laughs> but you know, viewers know that I get a little bit confused. But speaking of things, we're starting uh, something fun on Love in America, <laughs> and we're going to see how well you guys know each other. Oh, so, right. can you? We're going to grab the paddles, and I'm going to ask. The Kreismans, a few questions. All right. Okay. All right, guys. We love. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> my name is on I don't there. Know if that's right. one of the answers. That's a yes. There's my name. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll okay. write on this side. All right. Who initiated the first kiss? Oh, I should have probably written bigger. But. It's okay. Her memory is so much better than mine. Oh, you're good. <laughs> okay, flip it over, guys. Oh, okay. Yeah, right, so how did the first kiss happen? Oh, God. Just a good night kiss. Yes. After the, the movie. Yes, yeah, he the, dropped me. I was living at home still with my mom. and, that's and the first date. The first date. Yeah, yeah. And, and that's yeah. after it was. It Despite was like, Silence of the Lambs, yeah. there was mm -hmm. a first. Kiss. Despite Silence of the Lambs, <laughs> but there were still is, stars. Yeah, it is like <laughs> when I talked about this connection. You know, the, I mean, the kiss was, it wasn't like it was this huge, passionate kiss. No. But it just, it just was like, this is it. 
That's so romantic. <laughs> Did you know before the kiss, or was it after the kiss uh, that no, sealed I, the deal? I, it, it just, it, everything just was felt right, but that just sealed <laughs> it. I just love this show. <laughs> I mean, it's in your heart just full of happiness. Okay, okay. Who is the better driver between the two of you? You really, you, you, uh, the, the, we're at risk at not getting to 30. Yeah. No, 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 it's, right. you'll be happy with what I put, and it's the truth. <laughs> we are no. two for two. I'm a good driver, but I'm trying to think, he, he has endurance. Yeah, no, you know, you know, honest, yeah, yeah okay, endurance for road, yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah. that's great. I, yeah. You need that, especially with two kids, I mean, yeah. all the memories of road trips. Yeah. Uh, well, and I love to drive. Yeah. yeah. Really okay, cool. so that's good. All right, okay. Who is the cleanest in the house? Oh. Uh oh, oh. That's so easy. no, it's, we're gonna get this wrong. No, uh -huh. I'm gonna be honest. Uh, oh, okay. Oh, no, seriously, oh, I'm, not, no. I'm not just being nice. No, being nice. she is. Who cleans is. the shower? Oh, you do, and you do other stuff. You clean up the kitchen, yeah, you but, know, I sometimes. Mean, I mean, she's, she's a, she is amazing. I'm not a clean freak. No, but she's, I, a, mean, but, I don't know how she does it when. When well, the, the times I'm, that you've I been gone and or been out of town, with work I'm and like, everything, oh, she does it. Oh, no, to keep up with the, with me well, and there's our, no, our kids. Kids are adults well, now, but still. Oh, yeah. And then the dogs, <laughs> and then working and doing all of that. You program I the iRobot. <laughs> Well, that we've named Sophie. Can you tell that they love each other? This is so cute, like giving each other He's accolades good, though. He always... throughout the whole show. Yeah. Oh. No, I'm being serious though. He, you know, I can like trust him to say, if you know, if we're doing something to get ready for a party or family coming over, if I say, can you clean X, Y, Z or whatever, he can do it. He can He's do not it. Not incapable. Well, speaking of eyes lighting up, this is one of the questions the producers wanted to ask. Oh. What is the color of each other's eyes? You might be surprised. People, some people do oh, not. No, sloppy, but. <laughs> well, see, I, it's, it's just, I, I'm terrible on this. Oh, yes. Okay. What are you, let's see. Okay, flip it over. Oh, greenish brown. You think so? Yes. I see oh, a, a tint Maybe because my mom oh, has green eyes. Of, okay, is this okay. the first time that you've heard that yeah. he thinks you have greenish well, I mean, brown eyes? Maybe it's the lights. Maybe it's the lights, <laughs> but they look greenish brown. Oh, but see, but so isn't that so sweet? You're the brown. things that we even yeah. learn on this show. So that's the first that. time you've heard that. Yeah. Oh, see, that, so that was a great, green great eyes. question. Yeah, I'm sour with brown. Okay, sour so dark. what is each other's drink of choice? And <laughs> like a like a like a you know do you guys cocktail? yeah a cocktail like drink of choice and speaking you know like as you write it and before we flip you know we were talking about the kitchen and cleaning up oh. so how important is that in the partnership too does one cook and one clean or do you guys She's do a little bit of cook. well so are you yeah. but just we by well. by virtue of um, just the way the schedule has been mm -hmm. I mean he's it's been almost a year since he's been mayor but just this him mm -hmm. being so much busier for eight years. I did more of the cooking, I think, probably in that time. But he yeah. makes the Thanksgiving turkey every year. Aww. He makes an incredible Caesar salad dressing that we've talked about bottling, but <laughs> really? gotta figure out how to deal with the raw egg part of it. Right. But, right. but anyway, always, back you know, to that. But Rick's Caesar salad. So, oh. but you mentioned cleaning also. Yeah. We we pretty much will trade off, you know. But then sometimes to be, I've told you this. Like he'll offer to clean up the kitchen, but if I've just eaten, I'm like, I need to move around. <laughs> I want to get up. I'll clean the kitchen. So, but it really, it's basically what if I ask him to do anything, he'll do it. Mutual admiration society. Yeah. You know, there's actually a song called Mutual Admiration wow. Society. You guys should look it up oh, wow. because I think you guys again are the walking example of the Mutual <laughs> Admiration Society. All right, flip it over. I think I named this right. Okay. Oh, one of, look at one of many. One of, yeah, one of many. I don't know. 75. I'm impressed uh, yeah. that you even like, like, I just made it last 75. week. You did. It was really I good. I have an abundance of lemons. And a rum and coke. So I made French 75s. Oh, yeah. But yeah, anything. Anything with rum. Rum. Yeah, he loves his rum. You guys are just <laughs> lovely. So we only have a couple minutes left. You wrote. Accidental First Lady. Tell us about tell us about the book, Carrie, and why you wrote it. Well, you know, the 2017 re-election for mayor mm -hmm. um, was his eighth and most contentious election to date. And so, anyone who was around or remembers it will tell you that. And you know, usually people don't ask a lot about the family and the spouses as much, and and that's fine. All those years he was in politics. 
it, it didn't happen that much and people didn't say well how is this for you what's your life like and, and that was fine it was a decision we made I didn't expect people to want to know what it meant for me so after that election where people were so heavily invested in an election a local election more than they had ever been that question was asked a lot and I would give my stock answer that I would give in the grocery store <laughs> where I didn't want to you know and I didn't know somebody you know or bar barely knew them but then when I was having coffee with a friend one day, I, she asked me and I gave her the truth. And you know, we had a little bit more time to talk yes. about it. And basically it was like, how did you get through that? Because truth be told, it was very stressful. It was stressful, you know, on our family and you know, certain moments were, were, sure. were very hard. And so then she said, you should write a book. And, and I, here it is. So I bounced the idea off a couple of people and they, they agreed and started as a how-to for political spouses. And then the more I wrote, I found that my advice, if anyone asked, was kind of the same. Basically, conduct yourself as you would mm -hmm. always, you know, don't post on social media, you know, write something and then hold it back. Yeah. That kind of thing. <laughs> then, then I thought, who am I to be giving advice? You know, because oh. everyone you know, deals with things and approaches, you mm -hmm. know, a role in a different way. So then it, it evolved. Um, well, I can, I can say sitting here, you are a great person to give <laughs> advice. And I know what you're thinking, Mayor. I know what you're thinking. <laughs> I would marry her all over again. What? Here's to the next 30 <laughs> years. She's I She's an amazing it. writer, too. Oh, I love oh, it. Okay, accidental first uh, Yeah, it's lady. been fun. It's been a lot of fun. I'm glad I did it. And he was very supportive. <laughs> Well. well, we loved, loved having you Thank on you. Love in America. It was fun. I'm so glad. Yeah. Do you want to be on Love in America? <laughs> Do you want to be on Dating in America or one of the shows? Email us at production at redhousestreaming.com. We would love, love to hear from you. Um, and please share the stories. We like to spread positivity mm -hmm. on all the social media sites. We also are on Roku with some major, major announcements coming in 2023. Carrie and Rick Kreisman, married for 30 years. <laughs> Again, thank you so much thank for you. joining us. Thanks. Thank you. <laughs> Stay safe, everybody. We'll see you next week. The Golden Diamond Source has been in business for nearly four decades and is one of the largest family-owned jewelry stores in America. We have the largest selection of white and fancy colored diamonds and gemstones you'll find anywhere. We also have private areas for VIP viewings. Only at the Golden Diamond Source.